Let's go fishing. Yes, fish, 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 fish. There's another fat that you should know about that's found associated with protein. That's in seafood, and that's omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s also help our stem cells regenerate. They prompt our body to stay renewed, which is important for aging. All right, then. Let's go fishing. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. From the operating room to the ocean's depths, Dr. William Lee continues to make waves in the medical world. This Harvard-trained physician, once focused on groundbreaking angiogenesis research, has now cast his net into the bountiful seas of nutrition science. Dr. Lee's latest expedition explores the omega-3 rich waters of seafood and its potential to activate our body stem cells the unsung heroes of tissue repair and regeneration. His research suggests that the humble sardine might be more than just a tasty snack, it could be a powerhouse of cellular rejuvenation. Dr. Lee has found that omega-3 fatty acids, particularly those found in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and anchovies, may stimulate the production and activity of stem cells. These microscopic marvels have the potential to transform into various cell types, offering a natural pathway to tissue repair and possibly even disease prevention. But it's not just about popping fish oil capsules. Dr. Lee's work emphasizes the importance of whole food sources. He's discovered that the unique combination of nutrients in seafood including selenium, vitamin D, and specific proteins work synergistically with omega-3s to maximize their stem cell activating potential. From advising NASA on space nutrition to delivering TED Talks viewed by millions, Dr. Lee now invites us to dive deep into the ocean of possibility that lies within our dinner plates. His research suggests that regular consumption of omega-3 rich seafood could be a game changer for our health, potentially boosting our body's natural repair mechanisms and resilience against disease. Get ready for a journey where cutting edge science meets culinary delight, guided by a true pioneer in the art and science of eating for health. Dr. Lee is about to reel in the catch of the day a feast of knowledge about how the fish on your fork could unlock your body's regenerative potential. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it. If you can subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. No! Go fish! Yeah, well, um, so omega-3s, omega-6s are really just words, names that describe polyunsaturated fatty acids. These are healthier forms of fat um, that um, are important for our body. And the uh, fact is that uh, we need both omega-3s and omega-6s. The problem, as you just mentioned, is that we in uh, sort of modern societies tend to eat way too many omega-6s. And just like everything else in health, when you're out of balance and when you have too much of one and not enough of another, uh, uh, that extreme, especially with omega-6, sets us up for um, inflammation. But let's go ahead and take a look at omega-3s, which are the beneficial uh, uh, healthy fats of uh, PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids, that we tend not to get enough of. So, you know, omega-3s uh, are a family of fatty acids. They're sort of uh, EPA or eicosapentaenoic acid, uh, EPA or uh, DHA, which is uh, docosahexaenoic acid. And these actually originally come from algae, and plankton and sort of plants of the sea, as I like to call them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, you know, little critters, little fish, little shellfish uh, eat the the, um, the algae and the plankton. They, they, they build up the omega-3s in their bodies, which then are eaten by larger fish. And then you go up the food chain, the smaller fish are eaten by the next larger fish and so on and so forth. And, and of course, then the fish that we tend to eat, especially the ones that are well known to be filled with healthy fats, as they say, you know, the salmon, the uh, tuna, or the mackerel, these are predatory fish, um, the so-called oily fish, wind up actually accumulating these omega-3s in their flesh. And that's what makes seafood um, actually healthy. Dr. Lee will now tell us more about the benefits of omega-3 South. Go fish. The reason I, as a scientist and a doctor, tell people, including my patients, that omega-3s are important to know about and important to consume is because we know they help cardiovascular health. They're, they're associated with a lower risk of heart disease. They improve your circulation, which is important whether you're a young person who's physically active, you need more blood flow to your muscles on one hand, but on the other hand, there are people that are older that need better blood flow to their brain and other organs as well. But when you think about good cognition, 
we want to be able to actually be vital and functional for as long as we uh, as long as we're able to with our lifespan omega threes play a role there as well. Now, the one thing about omega threes that is helpful no matter what is they lower inflammation. Lowering inflammation protects us essentially from many of the chronic diseases that are fueled or sparked, uh, triggered by inflammation. So it's a countermeasure against chronic disease. And on top of that, uh, uh, the recent research has shown that omega threes can protect our stem cells. Mm. These are the cells inside our body that allow us to regenerate and heal and repair our organs from the inside out. And when it comes to metabolism, it turns out omega-3s play a role there too. Omega-3s activate a special kind of body fat called brown fat in all of our bodies. This is a good fat. So if omega-3s are a kind of good um, fat we eat, they act, it activates a kind of good fat that we have inside our body. It's plastered around our neck, under our, uh, our, under our breastbone, underneath our arms. And this good fat burns down, uh, 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 improves our metabolism, burns down harmful visceral fat, which also lowers inflammation. So here's what we're talking about. These are healthy fats um, that you can get from various types of food sources or dietary supplements that are so important in our modern knowledge of health. Nope, go fish. In addition to the oily fish Dr. Lee mentioned earlier salmon, tuna and mackerel, as well sardines, anchovies and herring, he tells us that there are many other seafoods we should consider as sources of omega-3 south. Go fish! Yeah, well, you know, the latest research actually shows that while the oily, oiliest of oily fish, like the smash fish you just described, uh, the, the the salmon, mackerel, anchovies, uh, and herring, it's true that the oilier it is, the more omega-3s it is. But actually, more recent research shows that you don't, uh, you know, in, in nature and in physiology for health, more isn't always more. And mm -hmm. it turns out that more recent research has shown even a piece of cod, which is considered a not very oily fish, has enough omega-3s to actually do you some good. So if you um, want to actually enjoy seafood because of the omega-3, don't shy away from having cod, um, uh, halibut, uh, mussels even, clams, even shrimp actually have uh, omega-3s. And that's one of the things that I wrote about in my book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, are the doses of the foods that may not come across as very oily, but actually have enough to actually improve your metabolism. How does that, what does that mean? Well, it turns out when you actually activate your metabolism, you burn down harmful body fat, you shrink can shrink your waistline, your body tube actually gets a little bit tighter uh, and um, it lowers inflammation. So you can add cod, halibut, mussels, clams and shrimp as seafoods to get your omega-3 south from. In fact, Dr. Lee goes on to say the following. Go fish. <laughs> One of the things that I write about in my new book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, is leaning into that seafood section of the grocery store, which, you know, some people already like seafood, but some people aren't familiar. And I want to take people's apprehension away to say, dive in there because there's a lot of great stuff. That's a secret to longevity as well. It turns out in many of the blue zones and in many places where people live to a ripe old age, they eat reasonable amounts of seafood regularly. What else can Omega-3 South do? Let's listen to Dr. Lee. Go fish. The reason I, as a scientist and a doctor, tell people, including my patients, that omega-3s are important to know about and important to consume is because we know they help cardiovascular health. They're, they're associated with a lower risk of heart disease. They improve your circulation, which is important whether you're a young person who's physically active, you need more blood flow to your muscles on one hand. But on the other hand, there are people that are older that need better blood flow to their brain and other organs as well. But when we think about good cognition, we want to be able to actually be vital and functional for as long as we, uh, as long as we're able to with our lifespan, omega-3s play a role there as well. Now, the one thing about omega-3s that is helpful no matter what, is they lower inflammation. Lowering inflammation protects us essentially from many of the chronic diseases that are fueled or sparked uh, triggered by inflammation. So it's a countermeasure against chronic disease. One other comment by Dr. Lee. Go fish! Fish cake with swirl! <laughs> I think it's really about opening the eyes of 
people that are interested in health and interested in food to understand that you can you can love your food and love your health at the same time and to love your food explore see what other people are eating and and realize that there's so much that we haven't even experienced yet and then go for those experiences Harriet, enough about the fish okay please give us a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life thank you for watching and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.